Tens of thousands of Chinese pensioners took to the streets on Wednesday to protest against health insurance reforms that were introduced by the government with the aim to control spending in the aftermath of China's costly zero covid policy. This is the second time that a crowd of retirees took to the streets of China in Wuhan where covid was first detected and also in the northeastern city of Dalian. Video clips on social media show a large crowd of elderly protesters in raincoats and holding umbrellas gathering outside the Wuhan city government by the Yangtze River on Wednesday while police officers form a line to stop them from approaching the gates. This latest outburst of public discontent puts pressure on President Xi Jinping's administration just weeks before the annual National People's Congress which will usher in a new leadership team. Protests first took place in Wuhan on 8th February after provincial authorities said that they were cutting the level of medical expenses which retirees can claim back from the government. The crowd chanted slogans such as down with the reactionary government and sang the international the communist anthem taught and sung in China since the communist party took over at the end of the civil war in 1949. The demonstrations highlight the financial challenges facing Beijing as it seeks to shore up China's underfunded healthcare system and care for a rapidly aging population that declined for the first time in decades last year. Older Chinese are angry at the reforms to the country's public health insurance system which have reduced retirees' monthly personal medical allowance from 260 yuan per month to 83 yuan. The plan has been sold as a means of trading off reimbursement levels to increase the scope of coverage to include more areas. However, criticism of the plan on social media has included the widely held view that Chinese officials are trying to recoup the vast amounts of money spent on compulsory COVID testing and other pandemic measures. Officials in both Wuhan and Dalian said that they had no knowledge of the most recent protests and as such had no comments to make. Calls to local police stations went unanswered. Protests are rare in China but public anger does sometimes erupt including widespread protests last year against the strict anti-pandemic measures that had been in force for nearly 3 years under the zero covid policy of president Xi Jinping